Hello and welcome to this practice exam conducted by British American Resource Center. My name is Maruf and I'm your practice examiner. These exam questions are designed to simulate the IELTS speaking test. So let's begin. What is your full name? My full name is Faiza Ullah. You can call me Faiza. And where are you from, Faiza? Uh, my hometown is Chittagong, but I was born in Saudi Arabia, Makkah and brought up uh, here in Dhaka, Bangladesh. At the beginning of the IELTS test, you'd be required to provide an ID or a passport. But as this is just a practice exam, you don't need to provide any ID or a passport. Now, in the first part of the test, I'm going to ask you some questions about yourself. Are you familiar with the practices of mindfulness and meditation? Yes, I am familiar with the practices of mindfulness and meditation. Mindfulness is the state of being fully present or engaged in a moment without any external distractions or thoughts, whereas meditation is the practice that encompasses mindfulness. Have you ever heard about the benefits of mindfulness and meditation? Yes, I have heard. Uh, there are a lot of studies that explore the benefits of mindfulness and meditation. Uh, some of the potential benefits include stress reduction, enhanced mental clarity and creativity, emotional well-being, etc. How often do you find yourself feeling stressed or overwhelmed in your daily life? I find myself in stressful and overwhelming situations quite a lot at this point in my life. I am now focusing on uh, developing my profession now that I've earned my bachelor's degree. But in your mid-twenties, you don't have, always have the answers to all the life problems. But there is a lot of energy and enthusiasm in me, which often exhausts me. And all these inconveniences lead to life overwhelming times. Have you ever tried any techniques to relax or calm your mind? Yes, I have, or else I wouldn't be sitting here looking so calm and poised. Uh, the thing that keeps me sane in su such circumstances is remembering that Allah is the best planner of all. Remembrance of the Almighty and His words always help me uh, maintain my composure. Are you interested in exploring methods to improve your mental well-being? Of course, uh, because I believe that overall well-being depends deeply with mental health. So I am constantly looking for practices of better controlling my emotions and thoughts so that whenever I'm in a uh, hard situation, I recover it easily. Okay, this is the end of part one. Now move on to part two. In this part, I'm going to give you a topic and you need to talk about it for one or two minutes. Before you talk, you have one minute to think about it. You can take notes if you wish. Here's the pencil and the paper. And you have to describe a time when you practiced mindfulness or meditation. There you go. Thank you. From now, your time starts. Are you done? Yes. Okay. Remember, you have one or two minutes for this, so don't worry if I stop you. I'll tell you when the time is up. Would you like to start now? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, recently, I've been trying to uh, implement the practices of mindfulness in every aspect of my life, but if I have to talk about a particular time when I was fully present or engaged in a moment, I would like to describe my graduation ceremony that I attended. 
Uh, I have recently graduated from University Technology Malaysia with a degree in engineering in electrical electronics. I uh, visited Malaysia last year during November to attend the ceremony. It was a very special trip because uh, I was visiting there as a student for one last time and all the amazing memories of the past four years would flash in front of my eyes. However, during the ceremony, while the students were in that graduation attire, celebrating their achievements and clicking pictures with their family and closed ones, I just wanted to be fully present in that moment, mm -hmm. wearing that robe and hat, identifying just as a UTM bachelor student for one last time. I stopped thinking about the past, the future, and focused completely on feeling all the emotions mm -hmm. rushing through my heart, all the sadness, happiness, nostalgia, excitement, all of it. It was an amazing experience for me. If I have to talk about how it made me feel, even while I'm describing the moment right now, I have got goosebumps because the memory is so fresh and alive, maybe because I was so mentally present in that moment. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to ask you some follow-up questions. Why did you decide to try mindfulness or meditation during that particular time? I think uh, for every person, their student life is a very special uh, part of their life, especially the university. Right. So since that was my last day as a bachelor student of UTM, I just wanted to be fully conscious of that instant. Did you face any challenges or distractions while practicing mindfulness or meditation? I didn't face many challenges during the particular time I was I described about but I do face a lot of hardships when I'm trying to be mindful in other situations and in those times I try to relax sit back and take some deep breaths and restart the task that I'm doing Great. how has your practice of mindfulness or meditation influenced other aspects of your life it surely has helped me a lot with my attention span. I can concentrate more and properly on any task now. It has also helped with me with my anxiety. I'm a very anxious and an impatient person. So uh, whenever I'm in hard situations or difficult situations, it, I better deal with them due to these practices. Great. Thank you. This is the end of part two. May I have the pencil and the paper? Sure. Thank you very much. Now, move on to part three, and I'm going to ask you several questions in this part. How can mindfulness and meditation help individuals in managing stress and anxiety? One can manage stress and anxiety by keeping their focus on the task they are doing and avoid being sidetracked by outer distractions as we have better control of the emotions and uh, stress. In this manner, we can navigate ourselves out of any situation without deviating of course but it is also important to note that practices of mindfulness and meditation do not eliminate stress and anxiety rather it helps us build a better relationship with ourselves right in what ways do you think mindfulness and meditation can contribute to better focus and concentration there are various ways through which uh, these practices help us in focus and concentration since it helps us reduce mind wandering so whenever we are involved in any task we can uh, keep track of the thoughts that is passing through our mind and bring back our focus on the task and do it com uh, successfully okay are there any culture or religious traditions associated with mindfulness and meditation uh, being a Muslim, I can speak for Islam with more accuracy as one of the main pillars of Islam is based on the practices of mindfulness and meditation. It is the five prayers offered by Muslims daily. Also, our Prophet, peace be upon him, was in the state of meditation when he received his first revelation. I also think all the major world religions include the ideas of meditation and mindfulness. How can schools and workplaces promote the practice of mindfulness and meditation among students and employees? It is an interesting question because a few days back uh, in, our one, in one of our meetings in my workplace, 
meditation session was arranged by our CEO. So arranging such sessions by the higher authorities can help in workplaces. And in school, uh, integrating these with curriculums can help as well. And having designated meditation spaces can promote these practices more. Do you think technology can be a helpful tool for practicing mindfulness and meditation or does it hinder the experience? I think the attention span and patience of people is decreasing day by day with the technological advancement. Right. People are more interested in short term contents like shorts, reels and small duration videos rather than long term contents. If we look deeply into this matter, we can see that they are more anxious about every situation and everything. So I think even with the purpose of betterment, uh, technology is somehow having a bad and negative impact on the society. How can mindfulness and meditation support overall mental health and well-being? As I mentioned earlier that certain practices and training helps us build a better relationship with ourselves. So being aware of the surrounding, of all the thoughts and feelings crossing our mind is what being mindful is. And by meditation, we try to attain the state of being mindful. So by practicing these methods, we have a better control of our emotions and thoughts. And as a result, we can navigate ourselves out of any hardship. Thank you, Faiza. This is the end of the speaking test. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome.